Well, let's look at this circuit now and see what happens when all the bits are zero. Well, that's basically Quillen was saying, you know, bit zero, bit one are basically just tied to ground. And so it's very clear that V out should be zero here. There's no voltage flowing in the circuit. So that ties with our table just fine. That was easy enough. What happens now when bit zero is high, in other words, it's VCC, and bit one is zero? Well, let's look at what that circuit looks like. In this case, VCC is tied up here. We put this to ground. We're looking to see what V out is. Well, I'm going to rearrange that circuit a little bit to put in a form we understand. If I re uh, rearrange it, now I have the circuit coming in where I have VCC up here, R1 as here. Now I have R3 and R2 going to ground and R4 going to ground. This looks like just a resistor circuit. Well, what we can do is simplify this thing and figure out what the, the values are for the resistors at different points in the circuit. For convenience, uh, well, what I really want to do is I really want to see, find V out at this point. Well, in order to do that, I really need to find the voltage at this point as well. Um, now, we can use something called Kirchhoff's Laws to do this. Kirchhoff's Laws says all the amount of current coming into a point has got to equal to the amount of current going out of a point. It also says that if I sum up the voltage drops over all resistors, it's got to sum to zero. So, for example, this is going to be a voltage drop from plus to negative, plus to negative. Here I'm going from negative to plus. So the voltage drop here has to equal the voltage drop across this resistor. That's all fine and well, but we don't even have to think that hard. We know that I, we can make this into a simple voltage divider again. We can figure out what the, re, the voltage is here. All I gotta do is figure out the resistance of this entire bottom section. So I'm gonna call that R lower. I'm going to figure, try to figure that out. So we know R lower is going to be the equivalent of this circuit here. So in other words, R lower is just this bottom section. Well, that's pretty easy because we know that resistors in series add. So we know that this is going to be R2 plus R3 over here. Now we have to calculate R lower as two parallel resistors. Well, let's do that. Um, so R lower is equal to 1 over 1 over R4 plus 1 over R2 plus R3. Okay, well that's very good. Uh, for convenience here, we're going to actually substitute values and we know that uh, we know what R1, R2, or R3, and R4 should be. So I'm going to look at my little table, and we know that it should be 1 over, let's see here, R4 is 2R, and again, you know, these could, these could be any numerical values we want, we're just doing this for convenience here. R2 is going to be 2R, R3 is going to be 2R, sorry, R3 is going to be R. So we end up with something that is, let's see, this is going to be 1 over 2R, 1 over 3R. So that's going to end up being uh, 6 fifths R. Okay. So now um, we know what this value should be. But we still need to find out what the, what the voltage is at this point, not just this resistance of this bottom circuit. So fortunately for us, this now just looks like a normal voltage divider. That's very convenient. So I know that V lower is going to equal to um, VCC in this case times R lower over R1 plus R lower. 
which, let's see here, R lower we figured out was 6 fifths R. So VCC times 6 fifths R. R1 is 2R, and R lower again is 6 fifths R. So, doing this quickly in my head, I got VCC 6 fifths R over, let's see here, 16 fifths R, which is equivalent to, let's see here, VCC times 6 over 16. Well, that's cool. That's, uh, let's see here, 3 eighths VCC. Hmm. So we have V lower equals 3 eighths VCC. However, that's not quite what we need yet. Going back to our circuit here, we need to find V out here. Hmm. That's a problem. But we now have V lower. Well, let's do the same trick again. Let's take this bottom part, right, as a separate circuit. So we have V lower. We have ground here. And we have, oh, this looks very much like a, uh, a normal resistor circuit again. Well, that's convenient. Well, this looks very much like a voltage divider. So we know that V out is going to be equal to R2 times V lower over R2 plus R3. And that, looking at our table again, R2 is 2R times V lower over 2R, R3 is equal to R. So in other words, we get 2 thirds V lower. Well, we know that V lower is equal to 3 eighths VCC. So substituting in here, we get 2 thirds times 3 eighths VCC or in other words, we get VCC over 4. Huh. Let's go check our original circuit. We said that when bit 0 is 1 and bit, zero, bit 1 is 0, the digital value is 1 and V out should be VCC over 4. Oh, great. So far, we got something that matches. We've shown that uh, when all the bits are zero, the V out is zero. When uh, the digital value is one, we're getting VCC over four. Well, let's, uh, so you can actually now do the same circuitry, or same uh, uh, calculations for the values when the digital value is two and the digital value is three.